So for this 48 hour piece, we are down at the beautiful Milton Abbas. I'm here with Hadley and it is Baltic. It's January now. It can only be a few degrees in the plus and uh, I'm hoping we can winkle out one of the beautiful scaling mirrors that reside in here. It's looking good, it's flat calm, it's crystal clear, but we have seen a few fish and there is the odd one coming out. So fingers crossed. Right then mate, where are we gonna start? I think we're going to start by working our way round to the middle of the pond. Definitely saw a few fish there earlier, so we'll have another look around there. Okay. Um, obviously down the bottom we didn't see as much. Um, we haven't seen anything up this end, so I think we'll start in the middle. At least we can see them. We've got a good viewing point of the whole lake. Yeah. Um, and if we, if we need to move, we can move. We're close to everything then, so I think middle of the pond's our best bet. We've got three days, haven't we? Yeah, so, so we've got enough time to, to act on anything we see. So. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, fingers crossed, mate. We'll uh, go and get the gear, get yeah. set up, and he hopefully we'll catch wins. one. Yeah. Right, we've uh, settled for the middle area of the lake where we've seen a bit of activity, a bit of fizzing, a couple of shows. So in the winter when it's cold and there's not much activity to go on, that is a perfect sign. So we're going to settle for the middle of the lake. Plan of action, get round here. We've had a little lead about. Um, it's really weedy in this lake, so I've been really particular about finding clear spots. So I found a couple of clear spots. I'm going to get some rigs out there. They're tied up, ready to go. Um, and with a bit of bait and we'll be fishing. We're just getting into evening time and it is absolutely silent, pitch black. And I don't know, it feels something something eerie in the air tonight. Don't know what it is, but it feels like something could happen. There's been a bit of drizzle in the air, it's been gone really warm all of a sudden. And um, don't know what it is, but it feels like something's gonna happen. But both of us have got our rods out now. Uh, I've found I'm very happy with two spots. One of the spots is a little bit choddier than the other. I had to get my rods out quite quickly um, as there was someone in this swim just just on dark pretty much. I really had to rush the rods out but I'm really happy with two and as I say the other one's just a little bit choddier. Um, got a couple of wafters on two rods uh, and a Brazil nut on the other so I'm hopeful. Hadley's got his three rods out as well and we're definitely on fish because we've seen fizzing today. We've even seen a couple show over us as well so it's never easy here, but um, you've got to be in it to win it, so fingers crossed for tonight.
Good morning. Fresh this morning, isn't it? Yeah, just a wee bit, yeah. That was an eventful night. Yeah, yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> a cold and eventful and wet and muddy night, but yeah. Crazy, crazy. Well, just to recap what happened last night, as Hadley said, it was very, very eventful. Uh, all my rods were wiped out by those lovely, huge, drifting weed beds. Um, and as I was sorting my rods out in the middle of the night, I looked over, Hadley's head torch was on, and uh, he was into a fish. So I came running over, and through a lot of uh, problematic weed, eventually, you shuffled one into the net, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I don't know how we got that one in, to be fair, mate. It's, uh, we were very lucky, very lucky, but sometimes that's just the way it goes, isn't it? When you need a bite the most, Absolutely. On, so. January 30 as well. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do me, so I'm very happy with that. Cool. Get some rigs back out once we sorted this fish and we might have a chance of another one, hopefully. That'd be nice. Well, let's get the waders on and have a look at this yeah, chunk. Let's do it. <laughs> Hadley, that is a corking cart, mate. I'm well happy with this. I bet you are. Those hands a bit colder, mate. One sec. Yay! Winter hero! <laughs> Well done, mate, that's class. Well, what I would give for a fish like Hadley's right now. I had a bit of a mare last night, to be honest. Uh, things really went against me. By midnight, all three rods have been wiped out by those horrendous drifting weed beds. The weather was really windy, freezing cold rain was lashing into the bivvy. And uh, yeah, it was a typical night where you thought, I'd rather be tucked up at home in bed. But we're here, we've got another night and uh, things can only get better hopefully. That weed's drifted off now. The lake itself is very, very clear, very shallow. So I'm gonna have a little go with zigs today. I'm gonna fish sort of one and a half foot, two foot zigs on these little mini bite hook baits. And hopefully maybe one will snatch at, uh, snatch at the bait and you never know, I might get a nice winter scaly. But things can only get better. This afternoon I'm gonna have a little lead around find a couple of spots for night time. I really rushed it as well last night because I didn't get into this swim till just before dark. So I wasn't overly confident anyway, but the weed just made it worse. So yeah, gonna get all prepared tonight for the last night and hopefully nice winter scaly can uh, grace my net. We'll see what happens. Well, as you can see, I have a football pitch of weed in front of me and it'd be okay if it stayed in the same position, but it's not. Uh, it goes up that way, 10 minutes later, decides to go the other way. And no matter what I do, it takes the rod tips out. I could fish the rod tips nice and high, but then they'd probably drift that way and take the lines out. I fish the rod tips right on the bottom with back leads and uh, yeah, it's still battering me. So I'm going to move opposite. I can still fish exactly the same areas, but it doesn't look like there's any weed whatsoever over there. You watch, I'll probably get round and this whole lot will drift over there probably. But um, yeah, I'm going to move over there just for ease of fishing. I can fish the same spots and hopefully 
fish them more effectively. So that's the plan. I'm gonna reel them in now and make a move. <laughs> oh no. Oh, how about you come out? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Well, I apologise if it's very gloomy in here. We're having to sit under the bivvy because it is raining cats and dogs out there. It's horrendous, to be honest. Extremely muddy and horrible. But um, we thought we'd take a moment just to show you that uh, the rigs that I'm using on this session so far. As you can see, uh, I'm fishing a helicopter rig on the line, naked style. Uh, main reason is there's no lead core or leaders or anything here, so. I've got a little bead pushed up on the line. Hook length can slide up to that as a buffer. It's quite silty out there with lots of bits of weed on the bottom. So the plan is that the lead will dig into the bottom, leaving my pop-up, or in this case a wafter, above the weed and it can slowly rest down on top. That's the plan. I've got a nice stiff hook length on there, hook length, hook length even. That's a quarter boom material. And then on the end, I've got a live system wafter or pop-up depending on the bottom. If I'm fishing over a bit of weed, I'll put a pop-up on if I'm in the silt or fish a wafter. So, yeah, that's the rig. Hopefully, it's gonna work soon. Well, this is wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Soaking wet, freezing cold, carpless for me so far. But I've found a nice spot here, and I'm sure I'm gonna find another couple for the night. Hadley's setting up just in the swim next to me over there. We're in exactly the same range as we were yesterday, just without all that horrible floating weed. So I'm gonna get a couple more spums out, find spots for the other two rods. And yeah, we're ready for the night. Just hope this rain eases off. Or if it doesn't, it could at least reward us with a carp. We'll see. Right, just to give you a quick update, we've uh, moved swims as you can see. We were pitched up on the other side of the lake there. We've got massive issues with floating weed, so we decided today we were going to move all the gear around here. It's been raining all day, so everything's soaked. Morale's at a low, but we did manage to pick one off last night. They're not feeding hard, so tonight I think I'm going to spread out the free rods. I've just spread them out in the area where we've seen the fish and where I had a bite. Um, and I'm going to spread some bait out with a throwing stick and hopefully we can pick up one on a nice nice washed out pop up and see if that does the trick tonight.
Well, we are at the end of the session, the end of probably one of the coldest nights I've ever fished. It's a bit fresh, isn't it? It's got to be minus three or four, surely. Yeah, yeah. We woke up this morning, the bivvies were frozen solid. Everything was frozen solid other than the lake, which is spring fed, so it very, very rarely freezes. And needless to say, we didn't catch anything last night, did we? No, and thank God for that, to be honest. I didn't really want to get out last night. No, I didn't. <laughs> the, do the, the door bag. zipped yeah. up and um, yeah, I was nice and cosy. But uh, I've got to say, Gricey, thanks very much, not for making us come out in January. <laughs> Although for Hadley, he has had a cracking result. A January mid-30, mate. Result, eh? Yeah, yeah, really lucky with that one. Um, sort of made the trip, really. Made it worthwhile, so it did. well happy with that. Yeah. yeah, don't mind coming out for that, do we? No, that's it. It's worth getting cold hands for that, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, very fluky, that one, but... <laughs> Shows live system always does it in the winter. Absolutely, mate. Yeah. yeah, and you're always in with a chance with the rods in the water. Exactly. So, there you go. Really good session. We're going to pack up now and head home. <laughs>